We kind of tend to think that, especially with fashion, there's a lot of value in the materials and the supplies and the and the output and what's being created, and we don't really know how much of that is going to waste, is going to landfills, being thrown away, and how many resources that that takes to just create one T-shirt. Being eco-conscious for me is really just thinking about how you impact our world that we live in every day. Everyone makes some sort of impact, um, good or bad, in some way every single day. I've had really amazing opportunities to be able to talk to and consult with fashion brands, both major and also smaller brands that are trying to start, not only make their line more sustainable, but how they can make all of their company operations more sustainable as well. You don't have to give up a lot of your overall brand or your aesthetic in order to kind of lead a more sustainable path with your business. I started my fashion line when I was eight years old and that's something a lot of people did not expect. You know, being a young woman of color, of course, made me stand out a lot in the business world and being a sustainable fashion designer for a long time. And that's starting to shift now. There's a lot more interest and excitement around sustainable fashion, but it took a lot of education over the years. Even people that were really uh, lived green, kind of eco-conscious lifestyles might not have considered, oh, what my what's part of my wardrobe has an impact too. So it's really important to me to really speak on and target and emphasize how important it is to have women of color and people of color in, in general as part of the whole environmental conversation, whether it be about fashion or beyond, because people of color and black and brown communities are the most affected when it comes to what's happening in our environment, especially with climate change. So it's definitely really important for me to make sure that, you know, people of color have their seat at the table and have their voices heard when it comes to these kind of environmental issues. One of the most rewarding things for me that's come out of my journey to not only educate, but to also inspire and create change through other people. So with my nonprofit Maya's Ideas for the Planet, in 2011, I started a project where I have created eco-friendly sanitary pads for women and girls in need. And I've been able to send pads to Haiti, Senegal, Somalia, and Cameroon. And I utilized my skill and my knowledge that I have with product design and, and sewing with my eco-fashion line. And I kind of transferred that to creating the eco-friendly pads through my nonprofit. I'm currently growing and scaling up my brand because there is even more interest now more than ever in sustainability in the fashion world, which is a really amazing for me to see because I've definitely seen it grow over the years, the interest, people becoming more educated or aware of how the fashion industry is the second largest polluter of our environment, only second to oil, which is crazy for me to think about still. And it's a lot to wrap your mind around, but people are really you know, reaching out and wanting to see how they can do better or make a difference or make less of a negative impact on the planet through what it is that they wear every day.